Well, but it's completely fine. <laughs> I mean, if you are, if if you are just uh, participating, that's more than enough for us. So. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So welcome to the wastewater talk, and nice to see you again uh, here. You. So we have Klaus here. Hello, Klaus. Finally, can you hear me? Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, info at Smart Aqua. I, I, I am sorry. Can you introduce yourself to, to the group? Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. Is Dragan Sokolovic. I am from Croatia. <laughs> the company is Smart Aqua. Hi, Croatia, Hrvatska. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, good, good. I've been the. I've been in Hrvatska last weekend. <laughs> oh, you could. Uh, Give me a call so we could uh, drink some beer. <laughs> yes, next time, next time. Where do you live in uh, Croatia? In Pula. In Pula, okay. Ah, it's very near oh, actually. I came coast, to a city uh, called uh, uh, Rijeka. Yeah, I it's about uh, kilometers from Rijeka, yeah. Yes, uh, so I was in Rijeka and yeah, uh, it's a beautiful city. <laughs> it's a, cow, a coast town and nice summer, sunny place. So, uh, no, hi. I'm so, putting the that, that, camera around because I was sure, without sure. shirts, so I had to put the <laughs> shirts first and then. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Good that you <laughs> uh, explained that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's a but, remote yes. work. It's a cause of the remote work, you know. Yes. Uh, even I'm doing the remote work. Everyone here are doing the remote work, I guess. So, uh, I want to introduce my co host. His name is Klaus. Uh, I, yeah, I have the shirt on, but the trousers not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean yes. <laughs> Don't send that. Nobody up. sees under this. So uh, okay. nobody sees under this. So <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and yes. Uh, so welcome to the wastewater talk. Uh, I didn't get your name. Uh, I sorry. Can you repeat your name uh, at info at Mat Aqua? I'm sorry. Dragon. 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 Hi, hi, Dragon. Uh, welcome to the Wastewater Talk. Thank so, you. is it your first time, I guess? Uh, yes, it's the first time. Uh, and uh, Klaus and me, we had a meeting. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, Ten days ago, I think it was. Then, so it's an interesting case because we are mostly now working with uh, water supply companies, uh, mm -hmm. but they also uh, working on the sewage system, and so it's a very interesting topics for us to expand our uh, application and uh, use of application. Yeah. Perfect. So yes, uh, so welcome once again to the Wastewater Talk. And my name is Raghu and uh, I'm a host and uh, our, my co-host is Klaus, as you know, he's also uh, in the video. And we also have one more co-host, uh, she's uh, in holiday. Uh, actually, she's also somewhere in Croatia, what I heard. <laughs> so, okay, so this week she can't be with us. Uh, but yes, I hope I, I can, I and me and Klaus can <laughs> do this uh, thing as as usual. So uh, we are still waiting for some people. So it's uh, just 10 o'clock. So we usually wait for some time uh, because some people show up a bit later. And uh, yes, so yeah. Uh, and I want to introduce the, the, so this is how it goes. Like first I will introduce about the wastewater talk. How is it and uh, how is it going on? and what are, what do we do? What is it about and everything? And then we I have a small presentation about today's topic, and we have our guest speaker here, uh, Mr. Karl Weiss from uh, municipality of Dresden in Germany. Hello. So he will. Be, hello, uh, hello Daniel. Hello Karl Weiss. <laughs> hello Mr. Karl Weiss. So yeah, so he is also going to uh, give a small presentation about the manhole covers and all the important things and what are the. Uh, some uh, he prepared a presentation, and then after that we'll have some some quiz or some kind of fun round, and then with some questions. That's how it goes uh, in the day. So I hope you I, all will have fun and <laughs> will be uh, enjoyed and thrilled, and maybe participate again next next month. Okay. So I was actually happy to see Klaus because uh, I was no idea he's a very busy man. So. <laughs> The schedule is very <laughs> busy, and no, I, I'm, I was... I'm, I'm actually uh, I'm actually on holidays at ah, the moment okay. in Rostock, okay, uh, on the Baltic Sea, 
Nice. And uh, yeah, I uh, I have all the time in the world for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but we have only one hour here, so <laughs> we we need only one hour of your holiday class. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Federico Acrosi, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, can you introduce yourself to the group? Uh, welcome to the Wait for the Talk again. Excuse me? Can you introduce yourself to the group? Where are you from? And, um, uh, okay, and I'm, something about the, I'm the sales engineer uh, of um, Società del Gres, member mm -hmm. of Stenzoi Keramo, mm -hmm. um, a society that produces uh, pipes for, uh, for sewage. Mm -hmm. And and that's all. <laughs> so it's only sewage, or even you guys do about manholes or uh, manhole covers. You guys produce that as a or manufacturer. I'm sorry, I I hear you very very low. Uh, do you guys also produce manhole covers? Can you hear me now? No, Hello? no, 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 no. We we don't produce uh, uh, manhole cover. But uh, ah, I'm interested okay. to to the to this discussion. Thank you so much, and welcome to the wastewater talk. So I, I guess I, I will uh, I will start the presentation and uh, Klaus, if anyone's coming, please uh, let them in <laughs> because I won't be seeing the screen. So first, uh, as I said, I will uh, have a small small presentation about the introduction of this uh, wastewater talk and how is it done and what are the uh, for how how the presentation goes every time usually, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So first, I will. Uh, Share my screen. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, we can hear okay. you, but don't see the screen. Okay. Only black. Ah, interesting. I mean, even here it's like a bit technical issues. I'm so sorry for that. Then we have the same picture. Ah, okay. Interesting. Actually, the funny thing is, I had some problems with my old uh, laptop, so I bought a new one. <laughs> I think it's... Uh... Uh, some kind of problem with the from the Microsoft Teams. I, I don't know if it's from my computer or it's the Teams itself. So now, can you see me, guys? Yes, Hello? we can. Can you see the screen as well? We see the screen. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay uh, so, uh, so let's, so let's go, to go, to go to the. So, uh, welcome to the wastewater uh, talk. So, this episode is episode 11, and it's uh, fun with the manhole cover, part two. So, part one was last year, I mean, sorry, <laughs> last month, in, in August. We do the wastewater talk uh, as a webinar for just exchange of knowledge and meeting some experienced person and then sharing the topic. That's mostly the reason behind this. Uh, webinar and it's an international exchange so so you can uh, learn about different topics or you can uh, share your valuable input to the group or we can ask some questions and it's only for one hour so it's for free <laughs> it always will be so uh, like i said we are three moderators me myself is Raghu Chebrodu. i'm a, i'm working in this company unitechnics from the past 11 months uh, from january of this year so and my my colleagues klaus and Siggy are also the moderators for this webinar. Uh, Klaus, he's here with us. And Siggy, unfortunately, cannot be here with us this month. So she'll be there for the next year, next time. So 
So we we want to uh, I want a short description about what is wastewater talk and uh, so it's a new we are we choose every month a new topic for discussion something related to water or wastewater mostly in that area so uh, we had a two uh, alternative meetings in April and uh, for the people who can't join us for the uh, due to the time zones, like uh, the people who are in uh, America and everything, so they find it very hard to to participate in the early morning hours. So this is only about exchange of knowledge in wastewater, and and it's it's about knowing uh, the person in the relative field and exchanging the knowledge. And here you can find the link to the uh, to this website, and. If you click this link, you go to the website, which is uh, directly related to our, our website, and then you can see all the old episodes overview and the videos if you are interested, and you can even register for the event for the next time. So please, uh, after the presentation, we, we would send this presentation to you uh, in email. So please try to check it out, and hopefully we ca you can find some important topics or, and enjoy the show. So, uh, as an episode overview, this is how it went. Uh, so, for the people who is here for the first time, so these are the topics. So, like I said, every month we find new topics. Every month, first month, first uh, Thursday, we have this kind of uh, topics, and then we we have sometimes uh, innovative speakers. Sometimes we make the innovations in in our company, and then we just share it with the people, the knowledge, and the everything. So. <laughs> So, like you see, these right now we are uh, at 11th episode. So, this is about the manhole covers around the world, and then the risks and uh, involved in the defective manhole covers, and what is the way out of the, this uh, crisis, and how can we reduce the risk. And the next week we have uh, as guest speaker, Mr. Patrice, uh, Mr. Patrice, and uh, he is going to. Ex Hello, Patrice. <laughs> so I didn't see this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he's. He and his daughter are going to have a presentation about fatberg elimination and the wipes treatment in the sewers. So if you are interested in the topic, please do uh, participate next time in the wastewater talk, which is on 6th, uh, 6th of uh, October at 10 o'clock. So a uh, small introduction. My company is called Unitechnic. So we are a company from 1990. So we started the engineering works. And from 2000, we started doing the uh, manufacturing products for the sewers and uh, and for the wastewater and the and the rainwater uh, stoppage and, uh, and and everything. So we are a company with uh, having engineering consultancy with the problems against odor and corrosion and the external water seal and air treatments and sewer inspection with drones. That's a new thing. It's a hot topic nowadays. So and we have the sulfide balance and the products against rat treatment and rot control. So first the introduction of manholes, like manholes. Uh, manholes are not, nothing new. It's very important, very essential, very small, but very effective. Very, very effective, which is like literally the, the protection like to the sewers. So everything which uh, protects the sewers. Yeah, the first thing oh, every human can see <laughs> and it's the starting of the sewer, like the manhole covers are not new to the humans. Like they date back very long back to the Roman times. I even saw some uh, manhole covers in UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, somewhere in Istanbul, which dates around uh, 700 B A A C or something. So it, it's very interesting that uh, even the Romans had a very uh, constructed sewer network, which having a manholes and all the technology what we have right now. Mostly the manhole covers are round. In some places, which I saw, which is weird, like square or sometimes even in a rectangular shape, <laughs> there is a reason for the uh, manhole covers to be round. I mean, some people ask me why the manhole covers are round. I mean, <laughs> if uh, if they are new to the topic, it's like uh, the manhole cover is round so that it doesn't fit inside or fall in the in the sewer and block the sewer or just bring more damage than uh, protecting it. So it's like the basic, uh, which uh, design <laughs> to say. Like these are the interesting questions. Uh, which uh, these questions I want to ask you at the end uh, after the after our guest speaker's presentation. So uh, let's say these questions at the end. And I just want to say, what does manhole cover do? Like, 
it uh, decreases the water consumption it stops uh, uh, sometimes when you don't have holes like this in germany you it also stops uh, rain water entering into the sewers and it also gives uh, these holes actually gives the ventilation to the manhole covers and th- sometimes they also uh, these holes will be like the emission of uh, sulfide has to s from the sewer systems and it stinks and the people will be like very angry about it and uh, they start uh, complaining uh, from the citizens so so like you said uh, i've been uh, when i knew that this this topic is going to be about manhole covers i was going i was traveling to many cities so i was actually collecting the manhole cover pictures from the every city how they look like and uh, how i'm just curious about how does every manhole look like like everybody has holes in it like in germany uh, uh, or everybody has different structures what is the different materials and why are they so big or they are so much so small so as you can see like this is in budapest and this is in from croatia which was uh, when i was there from last week <laughs> and this is uh, one of the city uh, which some has some manholes actually has some kind of crowns or some kind of uh, symbols on it and there are some uh, sometimes it depends upon where the manhole is and sometimes the manhole is actually used as a place where do you produce art so we go more about these designs uh, in the last part i have some pictures for you guys to show uh, like these are the different kinds of manholes and uh, you can see like yeah they are like creative and they are like uh, saying about history like it is something as a part of the street like uh, which you can be used as a street art and we can show some kind of uh, message through it so yeah uh, <laughs> this is a nice pic uh, this video which one of my colleagues has forwarded me like <laughs> the manhole which is so stuck in the ground <laughs> and they use it so hard to to break it off the ground because it's not opening and it is also because of uh, bad engineering and bad planning but more o- more about this we can also uh, we can also hear about our guest speaker and we, you if you guys are interested in knowing about more manholes you can visit this website uh, there is a link below it's like the ultimate manhole cover site they have a manhole from every country and then every kind wh- why is a manhole is and all about manholes people are very literally crazy about it and even i knew that as a photographer myself i knew that many photographers now are interested in taking the pictures of the manhole <laughs> which is like very interesting so uh so now uh let me introduce you to our speaker at halvai uh from the municipality of dresden hello He's Hello Mr. Kalwait. So he is going to present uh, some topics about the design and uh, and the secu- safety measurements what we can take. So actually uh, Kalwait, uh, Mr. Kalwait is uh, uh, actually not so good with the English language. So what we are going to do today is he's going to explain you in his, uh, in some German and I'm going to translate it. So <laughs> I know it's a bit uh, a bit longer than uh, usual so we can do it so okay. i will start the presentation and yeah so uh, uh daniel you can just take the story room it's here on the top uh you can ask me and then i will uh, give it to you hello well, welcome to my lecture um the team is the correct installation of manhole covers um Unfortunately, I, give, uh, I have to give the presentation in German. My colleague translate. Uh, my English is not so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I come from Dresden. It's, it's a town in, in East Germany. There's 560,000 people. And we mm-hmm. are responsible for 1,800 kilometers server network and uh, 85,000 shafts. Wie kann ich die Steuerung jetzt anfordern von dir? Uh, da gibt es oben einen uh, Link, das heißt Steuer- Steuerung anfordern. So was. Haben Sie keinen? Nee. Okay, dann. Uh, dann mach ich ah, yeah, uh, I, I will do it and then please uh, let me know the next slide. If it's okay. Ich kann nur freigeben. 
Kannst du mir das, du musst, du musst mir das, glaube ich, freigeben, oder? Eigentlich kann ich nicht, weil das sagt, äh, weil vielleicht die ist in deinem Kast oder so, keine Ahnung. Ich sage, ich kann ja nur, uh, it says I can only give it to Klaus, so my colleague. <laughs> I think because it's, you are a guest, so it's not accepting the story. I mean, the, the control to which you give it to you. Uh, it's not bad. I, I, uh, I will try to move the slides. Please let me know when. And then uh, when you explain it, I can go to the next slide. If it's okay with you. Okay. So, yeah, perfect. So, let's start. Also ich fange an und du tust dann weiter daran, wenn ich mache das oben yes. okay? Ja, yeah. okay. So, okay. Yeah. so as I said, he's going to explain it a bit in, in German and I'm, I'm going to translate you guys. If there are any questions, uh, we would uh, share all the questions at the end. Please uh, collect your questions and then we will do it at the end. Thank you so much. Okay, Daniel, yeah. Hello. Um, you see the, the famous manhole cover from Dresden? Uh, there are many interesting uh, buildings, the, the, the famous buildings of our city. Um, Zemper Ober, it's a big opera in, in the world. Uh, and the Dresden Swinger, mm -hmm. Kirche, Goldner Reiter, and as deiner Spaß noch so unter anderem die Faultürmer von unserer Kläranlage. Das wissen aber viele nicht, aber das sind die Sachen, die Dresden als erstes begrüßen. So as I said, uh, as Daniel said, here it's the, the manhole cover of Dresden. As you can see, these are all the attractions from Dresden. Like you can see the oldest church, which is called the Fraunkirche, and you can see all the beautiful uh, monuments, which are like the, the landmark for Dresden. And here you can see the, the, uh, the wastewater treatment plant from the Dresden, so which, uh, which you notice very clearly, it's like saying the, the big... Uh, how big the client log is and what are the, uh, how it's uh, showing advertising itself. So, yeah. So, Daniel? Das hier ist eine Schadensumfrage aller deutschen Großstädte, äh, speziell bezogen auf die Schadensstatistik der Schächte. Und da sieht man schon heraus, dass der überwiegende Anteil der Schäden an Schächten die Schachtabdeckung betrifft. Okay, so here you can see the typical pie diagram of the reasons for the damage in the manhole covers. Like, uh, they are this, uh, it's from all over the Germany, like uh, all cities, which had made a survey. As you can see, it's a survey from 2009, and uh, they are mostly formed because of the formation of cracks, and there are, uh, there are various reasons for the damages for the manhole. Like, sometimes you have uh, damages at the climbing rail, sometimes uh, they have the damages at the connections with the road, And sometimes uh, there is a damage to the covering plate, like the manhole cover itself. And there are sometimes due to infiltration, exfiltration, and the ceiling material is not so tight. So you, you find cracks and the manhole cover uh, uh, tends to move and everything. So. Von, von, und in Dresden sind ungefähr okay. von 58.000 Schächten, mm -hmm. da haben wir ungefähr 2.000 schadhaft. Okay. In Dresden, they have like uh, 85.000 uh, manholes and then... Man, uh, they are always, uh, almost 2,000 are uh, defective right now. So, yeah. Hauptgrund ist ähm, der nicht fachgerechte Einbau. Aber selbst wenn diese Schachtabdeckungen perfekt eingebaut sind, äh, dann liegt das häufig auch an dieser enormen Verkehrsbelastung. Durch 40, 50.000 50 Fahrzeuge pro Tag, zwei Reifen rollen über den Reifen, das mal hochgerechnet aufs Jahr, das sind Millionen Überfahrten über so ein Bauteil, die so eine Schachtabdeckung abhalten muss. Plus Lkw-Verkehr natürlich noch. So here you can see the impact of the traffic and uh, here you can see the, the, the tires of the, of the trucks or the cars and everything. They, uh, they're having some kind of uh, load which is uh, pressing on the, on the manhole cover. So it's like a lot of pressure. And for a day, they are like 40 to 50,000 uh, estimates, sometimes even less, sometimes even more. They are uh, out of uh, the cars are just rolling into the sewer manholes, which is like creating so much pressure. In this diagram, you can see it here, the, the design. So, the next one? Yes. So, um, now we see the damage pattern. Okay, then. Okay. Die nächsten Bilder befassen sich mit den typischen Schäden, die in Deutschland oder eigentlich weltweit vorkommen. 
here we see the traditional manhole covers and what are the damage we see in germany mostly uh, how do they how uh, how they look like so here das sind einmal asphaltausbrüche um die schachtabdeckung so it, here you can see the, the the cracks in the asphalt as you can see the the uh, the connection is not so great and you found cracks all over the manhole and it's not so tightly bound okay Hauptproblem sind so tiefe Schachtabdeckungen, die nach unten wegsacken. But like uh, the main problem is like uh, if the manhole cover is too low, uh, if you see the elevation of the road and the, the manhole cover is not on the same level of the road, so that will be the main problem for the manhole ganz, cover. Ganz besonders schlimm ist das in wo die Straßenbahn fährt, in Gleistrassen, wo man gar mm -hmm. nicht so schnell hinkommt. Ich habe ein absolutes Chaos bei der Reparatur an. Ja, yeah. it's mostly problem when there is like some, yeah, as you see here, there are like some tram line, which is going on the straight and it, it creates very much pressure and then it, it creates more problems than usual. Ja. Yeah. Okay. So. Ähm, wenn sich der Straßenraum um die Schachtabdeckung äh, absenkt, dann steht irgendwann auch die Schachtabdeckung raus. Das sieht man hier auf diesem Bild und mhm. das ist ein Problem im Winter, wenn es schneit und der Schneeflug mit seinem tonnenschweren Schiebeschild gegen den Rahmen donnert, dann mhm. bricht der Rahmen weg, kann der Rahmen wegbrechen. Okay, so this is when the elevation is on the top and these kind of uh, manholes can also create problems during winter. When there is a snowfall or some, some uh, precipitation, here the, you can see the, 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 the ring on the manhole, it, it can easily... Uh, damage and you can lose it as well. Okay. Ja, und, ein, und die größte Unfallgefahr besteht aus lockeren Rahmen, die wenn der Deckel im Rahmen klappert, sondern wenn der ganze Rahmen ein gewisses Spiel bekommt. Da hatten wir schon in Dresden einen schlimmen Unfall, wo die Staatsanwaltschaft dann schon am nächsten Tag bei uns im Büro stand und unangenehme Fragen gestellt hat, warum unser <lacht> Netz in dem Fall so in einem schlechten Zustand ist. <lacht> Yeah, I mean, uh, this is also a very high form of risk and of accident. You can see that the, the ring is not so tightly connected to the road. And in Dresden, in the city where Daniel is working, uh, there are like some kind of accident because of this ring. And then uh, the, the state, uh, uh, state department is not so happy with, the, <laughs> with this kind of uh, work because the manhole is creating accidents, which is like in, in, indeed like very uncomfortable uh, asking so many uncomfortable questions like how the, why the hell it's like uh, doing like this and why is it getting uh, out of its this place some kind of things so it's a very very uh, high risk okay um, was sind die gründe dafür dass es so aussieht in deutschland so now we know what are the reasons why are the what are the reasons why the manhole looks like that in germany zum einen wurden früher in den 90er Jahren die Schachtabdeckung mit Holzkeilen auf Höhe gebracht. Ja, das saugt sich mit Wasser voll, führt zu einer Volumengrößerung, lockert den Rahmen. Ja. Yeah. So hier, uh, when you see, uh, sometimes the, uh, you put wooden wedges in the balancing area, like under the ring. So this uh, actually doesn't give so much strength. Like, uh, so this will turn the this position, uh, the manholes, and then it goes up and down. Yeah. Ähm, weiteres Problem sind äh, Polymerbetonkeile, die zum äh, Hörsetzen der Schachtabdeckung äh, in jedem Baustoffhandel zu kaufen gibt, die aber in Deutschland verboten sind. Mhm. Führt natürlich auch zu schnellen Schäden an Schachtabdeckungen, weil es einfach ein Fremdkörper ist. Meinst du die, da? Okay. Ah ja. No. So, uh, you see here the blocks here, these kind of blocks are like some kind of uh, concrete blocks, but they're actually, Daniel says it's uh, verboten, like it's uh, not allowed in Germany, so. I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay. So. Dieses Foto sieht ganz harmlos aus, nehme ich aber seit vielen Jahren so bei einer Beendigung einer Baumaßnahme nicht mehr ab. Wir setzen in Deutschland alle Schachtabdeckungen in einen fließfähigen Vergussmörtel, in einen sehr hochwertigen, teuren Mörtel. 
Und das hier sieht man einen kellengerechten, angemischten Mörtel und das ist bei uns auch nicht mehr zugelassen in Verkehrswegen. Ah, okay. So, uh, this picture actually looks like very harmless. So it's this, uh, why this is the reason for the thing. So actually there's a, uh, there's a motor called Gust model, which is used in Germany. And then, uh, as you can see, this is not so tight and uh, this is not at all, uh, not, not again allowed in Germany anymore these days. Das liegt unter anderem an, an sehr, sehr veralteten Standard-LV-Texten, die immer wieder verwendet werden. Sieht man auf diesem Foto, muss man jetzt vielleicht nicht zu so sehr drauf eingehen. Auf der nächsten Folie sieht man mal einen Text, wie wir das in Dresden machen. So it's just a, a regulation, how, how you need to uh, lay the shaft uh, cover and uh, what are the accordance with the tin. And then the next, we see how the pictures of it. Ja. Wenn man diesen LV-Text, den man gerade gesehen hat, dann, dann kommt genau das zustande. Und das ist natürlich eine Katastrophe auf verkehrsreichen Plätzen. Schachtabdeckung mhm. ist nur ein ganz zartes Mörtelbett gelegt worden. Können wir aber gleich weitermachen zum Text. Okay. So here you can see the uh, ring, which is about to get constructed. Okay, next. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My my team is like very bad today. <laughs> It's like not allowing me to work faster. No problem. Technical problems, right? <laughs> yeah, interesting. Genau. Das ist eine, 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 eine äh, relativ berühmte Brücke in Dresden, die wurde erneuert. In der Peripherie wurden 100 Schachtabdeckungen angepasst und alleine nur durch den Baustellenverkehr waren schon wieder, war die Baumaßnahme noch nicht beendet, 100 Schachtabdeckungen wieder schadhaft. Das liegt unter anderem an solchen sehr veralteten äh, Ausschreibungstexten. Hier, okay. yeah, you can see like a local newspaper saying about uh, the Uh, the manholes, which are like very loose, and then they are making so much uh, problems. And then here it says like uh, the, the bridge is again it's uh, it's it's in damages. So it's it's also showing how getting the public attention like how much manhole covers are like loose and what are the problems of it. So it's just uh, here is clear text. Das ist so, der Text, ja. sieht erstmal ein bisschen wissenschaftlich aus. Man mhm. muss aber so ausschreiben, es sind alle wichtigen DIN-Normen, die zu beachten sind bei Schachtabdeckung äh, drin und, und zusätzliche Anforderungen an die Qualität. Die wichtigsten Normen, die DIN 1584, die DIN mhm. 1229 und das Real Gütezeichen. Nur die DIN EN 124, die eigentlich europaweit bei vielen ausreicht, die stellt uns ja nicht zufrieden. So here you can see a text about uh, basically uh, uh, the diameter of 400 around manholes, what are the supply and installations, and how you can see the width measurement and everything, and uh, how to support the ring. Okay. okay. Das Problem sind trocken übereinander gelegte Ausgleichsringe. Mm -hmm. So this is also a problem when you uh, put the ring uh, on each other, when they are in a dry condition. That also creates uh, not a great connection between the The ring then it creates more problems. Oder wenn Schachtabdeckungen in Ziegel gesetzt werden. Die arbeiten sich irgendwann nach innen und fallen in den Schacht und dann fällt der Schachtdeckel ca. 10 cm nach unten. Wie in dem ah, Bild hier okay. zu sehen. So if you see the, the, the if it's made by bricks, sometimes because of the high pressure from the cast and everything, the, the, the ring here goes down sometimes by 10 cm. Okay. As you see in the picture. Das können wir überspringen, darauf gehe ich näher nochmal ja. ein. Das können wir ein paar ganz paar Bilder überspringen, kann man alles überspringen, weiter, weiter. Mhm. Genau, wie sieht so eine, das, das Bild nochmal zurück, genau. Der fachgerechte Einbau, jetzt geht es darum, wie macht man das überhaupt fachgerecht, damit das überhaupt lange hält. Ja, 
so now you saw the damages and how it cost now we we just want to say more like how what is the standard uh, installation process and how can you build it properly and uh, fix it properly so that you won't get these kind of problems in the future okay so these are the materials you can see uh, for the building and uh, how do the manholes are typically built oh. and Yeah, das ist beim Straßenneubau, da kann man nicht ganz mm -hmm. so viel zeigen. Deswegen mm -hmm. habe ich mir ein System rausgesucht, das System Budaplan. Das ist eine der langlebigsten Schachtabdeckungen, die es momentan auf dem deutschen Markt gibt. Das sehen wir dann mm -hmm. auf dem nächsten Bild. Hier sieht okay. man aber das Problem, diese zylindrischen Rahmen, die man hier sieht, die kann man so perfekt einbauen, wie man will. Da die mm -hmm. keine geraden Außenrahmen haben, werden die irgendwann immer wieder nach unten wegsacken, egal wie perfekt man die einbaut. Okay, so actually this is a uh, new construction of the road. And in, in Germany, there is a new process called Buddha process, which is like very uh, used nowadays. And as you can see here, this is a uh, round manhole. And then no matter how big it is, sometimes they, they uh, with the roller, with the, uh, they, they roll it down and then make it to the same level. So we see the more pictures about what is Buddha plan in the next slide. So as you see here, this one. Oh. That's the... Man kann nicht so viel sehen, die werden erstmal beim, beim Straßenneubau alle mhm. überasphaltiert und nachträglich freigelegt. Das ist bloß so ein allgemeines Foto mal. Können wir gleich überspringen. Okay. So it's just a normal picture of overall ja. picture of the road transport. Yeah. So here you can see the Buddha plan. Yes, okay. Das ist ein System, mhm. äh, was, was man sich vorstellen kann, wie so ein Badewannstöpsel in die neue Straße reingefräst wird. Konischen mhm. Außenrahmen. Dazu gehört mhm. eine passgenaue Fräse und diese Schachtabdeckung kann zum Beispiel bei fachgerechten Einbau nie wieder nach unten wegsacken und hat ungefähr eine Lebensdauer von 20 bis 25 Jahren. Ah. Okay, so here you can see the Buddha plan. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a circle, it's a perfect circle. And then it's a cone, uh, like cone, uh, here you can see the cone area. So it's something like 400 to 600. And This uh, is the most effective way and which is uh, done right now in Germany. And it has a lifetime of 20 to 30 years. Is it right, Dan? 20, 30 years. Yes. Yeah. So. Perfect. Okay. Okay, das muss man so ein, ein Bild an der Fräse okay. einem Radlader. Yeah. Aber kann man überspringen. Okay. So as um. you can see here, the steps of the Buddha plan, like how the typical steps this is the first step, like how they, they mark it and then they put it. And then here you can see the The no. circle and the ring, and it, they are exactly pressing in the ring inside so that it stays very strongly connected to the concrete in the. Da sieht man mal das Prinzip. Ich sage das immer wie so ein Badewannstöpsel, genau. Ah, okay. So it's just, just like a, a barring, uh, barring tub, uh, how they construct the tub in, uh, like a swimming pool, <laughs> which you connect, uh, connect in, the, in the ground. Just you make a shape out of it, and then you, you make a, a hole perfectly into it so that you can put this. Uh, The barring the in it. Yeah. So it is uh, like this at the end. This is the last step. So you, you put it at the end and then you seal it with the concrete. This is no. fine. Uh, das Beton. Ist, genau. Das ist der Verkussmörtel. Ungefähr mm -hmm. eine Höhe von drei bis 15 Metern. Und so sieht eine perfekt eingebaute Schachtabdeckung aus, die sehr, sehr lange hält. Okay. So this is like three to five meters. And then this is the perfect uh, ring, how it looks like uh, after the construction. Hier you can see the, uh, the joints, which are with sealed with concrete and they are very hardly connected. So okay, this is the super fix, I guess. Yeah. Genau, das ist zum Beispiel ein, ein Fokusmörder. Am besten man tut mm -hmm. auch die Ausgleichsringe gleich mit eingießen, dann hat man einen homogene Ver Verbund mm -hmm. von dem gesamten Aufbau. Okay, this is the, the, uh, the material which uh, like connects the, the like a super fixer, which fixes it to the ground. Können wir weitermachen? This, yeah, this like, like the Und hier kann man jetzt verschiedene Arten. Man, nimmt, man kann Kaltasphalt, mm -hmm. man kann Heißasphalt, Asphaltbeton, okay. man kann Gussasphalt nehmen. Das ist völlig egal. So these are like different types, which you can take different kind of materials. Sometimes like hot tar or sometimes it's tar, which, uh, which is not so hot. And there are different types of materials, but different, mater uh, different kinds of handholds to fix. So yeah, so this is the picture. <laughs> genau, das ist nochmal ein chemisches Produkt. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, da gibt es ganz viele Anwendungsbereiche, würde ich jetzt nicht näher drauf eingehen. Okay, that's like a chemical product which has like so many uses and all the things for, for this. 
Oh, this is the Buddha Plan H0. Yeah. Das ist eine Weiterentwicklung der Buddha Plan Schachtabdeckung. Und zwar, die kann im Straßenneubau eingesetzt werden. Das heißt, werden alle Asphaltschichten über den Schacht drüber gezogen. Man hat die perfekte Verdichtung und fräst dann in die nagelneue Straße die Schachtabdeckung rein und hat dann nur noch diesen kleinen Spalt zum Vergießen außen. Okay, das ist ein New Plan. Dann stehen nicht mal die typischen Netzrisse um den Deckel, die Asphaltschäden. So, this is a new plan of the Buddha Plan. Here you can see the, uh, the design process as well and then. Uh, was noch Daniel? Also die, die Designplan, die letzte genau. habe ich. Genau. Uh, okay, so it's like a new design model where you can see they are having holes and then it's also having kind of concrete. Actually, this is a question for the people at the end. Why there is a concrete and steel in the in the manhole, some manhole? So we'll say at the end. So this is how it looks like uh, the, the design of the... See, it's kind of asphalt, also there's no metal. Das ist, das ist Guss und Beton. Ah, okay. So it's just like the, the gas and just the concrete. So it's metal and concrete. That's it. Okay. So, these are the typical das wird, das können wir weitermachen, können wir weitermachen. Mm -hmm. Der sieht das mal aus, die Struktur des Mörtels, sehr mm -hmm. fließfähig. Der tut natürlich jeden Hohlraum mit abdecken, was kellengerechte Mörtel nicht macht. Okay. So as you can see, this is a design model, where how you can fill it and This is uh, very simple and very effective than other models. Okay. So. Machen wir weiter. Okay. Hier geht es jetzt darum, in Deutschland gibt es zwei Systeme. Mhm. Schachtabdeckung, die in Mörtel gesetzt werden und Schachtabdeckung, die eingewalzt werden. Da sieht man mal, rechts ist eine Schachtabdeckung in Mörtel und links mhm. ist eine Schachtabdeckung, die wird nur in die letzte Schicht eingewalzt, hat 25% Lastabtrag ins Erdreich. Eine klassische Schachtabdeckung hat 100% Lastabtrag aufs Bauwerk. Okay, so was ist Nackabtrag aufs Bauwerk? Also, uh, so it's like the, uh, here you can see there are two models, like one is uh, 85% and one is 15% of the, uh, of Uh, I'm sorry, what, how, wie sagt man mal, Daniel? Also die Nacktabdeckung? Uh, ja, sorry, die, I, 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 I didn't Der Lasteintrag oder die, die, wenn ein Auto drüber fährt, geht halt alles ah, aufs okay. Schachtbauwerk. Die, die mm -hmm. einweizbare Abdeckung nimmt das weg vom Bauwerk. Ah, okay. So it's like, uh, when the pressure is acting on the, on the manhole cover. So it uh, either can be going into like 85% of this and the 15% to the concrete or like 100% to the concrete. Okay. So, yeah, next one. Yeah. What's the problem? The problem is, uh, eine einwalzbare Schachtabdeckung darf nur in Asphalt eingewalzt werden und nie in eine Pflasterstraße. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so, here you can see the problem. Like, uh, this is not a concrete road, right? This is just uh, 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 with, with the rocks and with concrete. So, this, this kind of manhole covers, like, which is like a metal. So which uh, these are called rollable uh, manual cars. These cannot be laid on the streets like this. That's the problem, <laughs> because so okay. yeah. Aber auch eine einwalzbare Schachtabdeckung kann nach unten wegsacken, wenn man sie nicht richtig mm -hmm. verdichtet vom Asphalt her. Mm -hmm. So uh, these kind of uh, rollable manual cars can also sink, uh, because they are like uh, too deeply constructed or they have loose frame, as you can see here. Uh, they have some contraction gaps between the temperature because of temperature changes and everything. So, yeah. Okay. There's something also, like this, like crack. crack. Das kann, kann man auch weitermachen. Yeah. Können wir auch weitermachen. Das wird hier in Beton gesetzt worden, macht man nicht. Mm -hmm. oh, da würde ich jetzt nie näher drauf eingehen. Wie sieht so ein fachgerechter Einbau aus? Man braucht yeah. immer 17 bis 23 cm Platz zwischen Straße und Schacht. Mm -hmm. Platz für die Schachtabdeckung zu haben. So uh, here you can see uh, how to construct it properly so that we can uh, eliminate this co uh, cost. So it's like uh, there will be a vertical, uh, like there's a street and then be between the manhole and the street, there should be a minimum space of 170 to 230 millimeters. And yes, so finish show then cover this with steel. Yeah. So. Okay, ansonsten legt die direkt auf den Schacht auf, kann man aber klar weitermachen. Ja. Und so sieht das ja. aus. Das ist, du kannst du mal das Bild mit der Walze machen? Das reicht ja. aus. Mhm. Ja, und so sieht das aus. Sie wird im Prinzip nur im Asphalt festgewalzt mhm. und schwebt quasi über dem Schacht ohne Verbindung zum Schacht. Okay. So, so uh, this is how it looks when it's like the 
the asphalt is connecting to the road and then uh, you see the road builders like they they compress it so hard so that the asphalt and the 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 manhole cover ring will be joined very tightly ja, und das ist ganz wichtig, der Fugenfokus. In den wärmeren Ländern wird das eher nicht gemacht. In Deutschland ist das ganz wichtig, weil sonst okay. im Winter dort der Frost reinmachen würde. Wasser gefriert, Volumenvergrößerung, mhm. sprengt dann den Rahmen frei. Okay, so basically these kind of things are not done in the warm climate. I mean the warm countries, which uh, the temperatures are high. These are mainly done in uh, Germany, uh, because uh, these, cracks, uh, these cracks should be closed. If not, you will get some kind of... Uh, some uh, some precipitation or some kind of crack and which can also lead to some kind of uh, uncertainty and uh, some water noise. Okay. Next. Okay, so, hier ist yeah. nochmal das Prinzip dargestellt, dass diese Schachtabdeckung keine Verbindung zum Schacht hat. Mhm. Aber wir haben diese Schachtabdeckung seit vier Jahren verboten. Wir haben da ungefähr schon 5000 Stück verbaut, aber die halten auch nicht länger wie die normalen Schachtabdeckungen. Okay. So these are the kind of uh, connections which uh, you can see here like this is the the, the gust and this is the distung and like how how are the layers and uh, is this the bottom for fear what do you do then what do you say is this the bottom for fear like also ich, wir haben das in Dresden, bauen wir das nicht mehr ein. In anderen Städten okay. wird das noch gemacht, aber Aha. das ist für uns Geldverschwendung, weil das keine längere Lebensdauer beinhaltet, das System. Es ist eher so, dass es gefährlicher wird, wenn diese Schachtabdeckung mal locker wird, dann hat man sofort mhm. Gefahrenverzug. Okay. So, basically, this, this system is not, more, uh, not done in Dresden, the city where Daniel is, but it's done in other places. They're not doing it because the, the, the lifetime is not more and it costs more money because it's the material is too much and so they are They're preventing not to do these kind of things anymore. Okay. So, so these are some now, pictures. Yeah. Let's go yeah. So genau. now we see the manhole covers in Dresden. How do they look uh, in the city of Dresden? Jetzt kommen wir langsam zum Schluss des Vortrages. Wir mm -hmm. haben in Dresden eine über 100 Jahre alte Schachtabdeckung, mm -hmm. äh, die, seit wow. knapp, die seit knapp 120 Jahren den Verkehrsbelastungen standhält. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Und die wurde aber bis nicht mehr hergestellt, den Hersteller gab es nicht mehr. Und wir haben die neu ins Leben gerufen, haben mhm. dasselbe System, was auf die heutigen Schachbauteile wieder angewendet, weil diese Schachtabdeckung jeglichen Verkehrsbelastung standhält. So sieht die historisch aus. So, this is a historical uh, manhole cover of Dresden. It's actually built uh, more than 100 years ago, but now it's not made anymore because the manufacturer is not, not present right now, so the company doesn't exist. But this manhole cover took the pressure, uh, like this, uh, it withstand all the pressure and all the, like, uh, from the everything, and it's still very functioning very good. And this is like the historical manhole cover in Dresden, which is like 100, more than 100 years old. Great. Okay. Next. Okay, next is good. Genau, so sieht die im eingebauten Zustand aus. Wir haben die historischen Pläne in unseren Archiven wiedergefunden und haben die dann nachbauen lassen von einer. Ja. Ah, okay. Deutschen so this, yeah, okay. So this is like the uh, one of the historic uh, manhole covers, which is made uh, once upon a time, and they found this uh, design uh, plan from from the archive, and they started to build this kind of uh, again in nowadays, like because they have a plan now. So that's fantastic. <laughs> Und das sind so verschiedene Lastabtragssimulationen gewesen, mm -hmm. um zu schauen, wo ist da noch eine Schwachstelle bei der Entwicklung. Okay. So you can also actually simulate this ring. Uh, I actually personally know, uh, heard about it. We can do it in ANSYS, this software, and you can actually simulate how to see where the uh, loose connections are, where the damages, and so you can simulate and find the perfect design for the manhole cover. Genau, und so sieht es aus. Ähm, ich habe zusätzlich noch acht Bolzen bekommen. Mhm. Und diese acht Bolzen werden in Vergussmörtel gesetzt und entlasten durch, diese, durch diesen Lastabtrag oder durch diese acht Bolzen. Das ist wie so eine Stahlbewährung, die Vergussmörtelfuge enorm. Mhm. Die Rahmenform ist genauso wie vor 120 Jahren. Wow. Und wir okay. haben bis jetzt davon ungefähr 2000 Stück verbaut und nach, seit über zehn Jahren nie an einer einzigen Schachtabdeckung einen Mangel feststellen können. Wow. So these are like the eight bolts and which are connecting on the side. And this, uh, the ring which you see is like the same ring which they had uh, before 100 years or 120 years. And they built it like, wie viele uh, haben sie gebaut? 2000 uh, Stück bis jetzt. Okay, so it's like uh, 
200 pieces uh, they they built something like 200 uh, models of this uh, of this type and they're using it now okay nice so weiter ja und so hier sieht man mal wie die sich im asphalt verkrallt ja, da hat mhm. mal so einen querschnitt gemacht im asphalt das heißt die ist richtig fest verankert im straßenbau ah. so die hier okay yeah so yeah okay yep. so so this you can see the asphalt is on the uh, cross section like this and they bought it uh, they built it like this so that they have the high durability and the high strength and so that it doesn't have any uh, many damages in the in the coming years or uh, it has a long durability auf dem bild sieht man mal wie sich der asphalt asphalt mm -hmm. an den rahmen anschmiegt das heißt ist auch unabsinkbar sagt niemand okay. nach unten weg okay wow so this is how you can see the cross section how it connected to the uh, as uh, asphalt but here you can see it, it, they say it's like it's unsinkable <laughs> It can withstand a high pressure and it can stay uh, in the position uh, for a long, long time. Okay. So this is how I think you see the in the This is my original zustand, yeah. genau. Mm -hmm. My build. So this is the the. Wird überwiegend in 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 natürlich auch in, in stark befahrenen Straßen oder wo die Straßenbahn fährt eingesetzt, weil wir dort nie wieder eine Schachtsanierung machen wollen. So. This is uh, where the tram goes, and this is also like uh, very high durable. You don't need to make high maintenance, uh, like more maintenance like the before one. Okay. Yeah. And that's my eingebauten Zustand. Mm -hmm. Bilder noch. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the pictures about how they construct between the tram lines in the street uh, street trains, uh, where you need to construct a manhole. Und einfach auch nochmal im Einbauzustand, so sieht es perfekt aus. Und für die Entwicklung haben mein Kollege und ich äh, vom IKT in Gelsenkirchen, das Institut für unterirdische Infrastruktur, den, wir, den Oscar der Kanalbranche gewonnen. Das ist der goldene Kanaldeckel. Wow. <lacht> <lacht> so, this, this is an interesting fact, but this, this uh, the model which they had, they won a prize <lacht> and it's called goldene Kanaldeckel. Like in German, it means the, the, the golden... <lacht> The gold manhole cover award uh, goes to this. <laughs> Actually, it's so funny. I mean, I, I never expected that there will be awards given to the manhole design cover. So, yes, I, I like I said, I'm learning so many things. So, yeah. Und mit dieser Schachtabdeckung haben wir ähm, die Schadensquote von, von fast dreieinhalbtausend Schachtabdeckungen, defekten Schachtabdeckungen in Dresden, mhm. äh, mittlerweile auf, auf ungefähr 1000. 500 abgesenkt. Also wir haben noch ein bisschen was, wir haben noch ein bisschen was zu tun, aber es dauert nicht mehr lange, dann sind wir fertig in Dresden. Okay. So as you can see from the years, uh, when they started to use this, uh, uh, this design, the, they're constructing more, but the repair, uh, I mean the, the repair works or the maintenance works are extremely going down, which is a good sign. And now Daniel says it's like uh, they have only a uh, a little bit of reparators, uh, reparating uh, and uh, maintenance work and after that they're done. <laughs> und wir sparen in Dresden dadurch auch einen, einen sehr großen Millionenbetrag in den nächsten mm -hmm. 40 Jahren, weil bis jetzt mm -hmm. mussten die Deckel aller sechs bis acht Jahre saniert werden. Und jetzt halten mm -hmm. sie ungefähr 25 Jahre durch. Eine Deckelsanierung kostet 1800 Euro im Schnitt. Wow. Und wenn man das hochrechnet auf die nächsten 40 Jahre, dann ist das ein riesiger Betrag, den wir hier als Stadt und Wässerung einsparen werden. Yeah, so actually it costs like 1,800 uh, euros uh, to to uh, to the to this maintenance work, and we have to do it for every uh, five to eight years. Fünf bis acht Jahre oder? Alle sechs bis acht Jahre mussten die bisher repariert werden, und wir zahlen aber 25 Jahre genau. Okay, so the the lifespan is like 25 years, but if they are using these, they can uh, save so much money. So, uh, yeah. Okay, das war's. Vielen Dank. Gibt's Fragen? So that's it. And Daniel, you also have Tinder here <laughs> connected in this. How much is uh, is one of these big, bigger manhole covers? In you said 1,800 euros is the standard cost for one manhole cover. How much is the new one to install? The same? Können wir mal Daniel? auf Deutsch übersetzen? <laughs> Ah, ja, was, ja, ja, was ist der Unterschied zwischen der Standard-Begu-Abdeckung und dieser goldenen Kanaldeckel gewinnenden, gewinnenden Superabdeckung? Von vom den Preis Kosten. her? Achso, ja, okay. Eine, eine normale klassische Schachtabdeckung kostet 300 Euro und die kostet ungefähr 650 Euro. Und vom Einbau her? 
ist das Gleiche? Ist der Einbau ist überall das Gleiche. Da bist du ungefähr immer bei 1.800 Euro bis 1.500 Euro dabei. Okay, nice. So, anyone has any more questions, guys? You have to uh, translate, Ragu. You have to translate. There's any? Uh, yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> Anybody has uh, any more questions uh, for the speaker, for, uh, according to the manholes or anything in general? Like it doesn't uh, need to no, be a technical question. No, I mean the question. translation of the question. Uh, I ah, asked okay. uh, if uh, there's a difference between a standard manhole cover or a, or this new special manhole cover, and the only difference in cost is that the manhole cover itself, the standard manhole ah. cover in Germany, costs 300 euros with the frame and so on, and the new manhole cover that uh, Danis showed us costs 600, and the installation process is the same cost. Ah, okay. Sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, anybody has any more questions? Our speaker for today. <laughs> I have a quick one. Hey, Vladimir here from sure. Kobe. Hello, Vladimir. Hey. Hello. With the adjusting of the height on the mm -hmm. asphalt area, if you need to mm -hmm. lift it up or, or lower it down, mm -hmm. how do you can manage with this uh, static uh, manholes uh, covers? So you mean you you wanted to know the cost or the procedure? Uh, I mean, is is it more costly to to uh, have? Like this one, this uh, this uh, static one, instead mm -hmm. of the the actual the fleet uh, the high fleet and the, the the ones that are adjustable with the height. Okay, so uh, Daniel, like uh, how much? Uh, <laughs> uh, Daniel, uh, wie lohnt sich das? Also diese Schachdeckel zu diese Hochdeckel und die Unterdeckel zu uh, was zu haben? Also Diese starting tackle for my other Vladimir, one. your question is uh, how to how to change the height or the no, cost? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Actually, is, is it uh, more uh, applicable to use this new new uh, design that is actually uh, adjustable by height, like telescopical one, or should we, uh, or is it better to to proceed with this statical one that a little bit bulky, a little bit more, how say, easier to maintain? That they're more statical one, but they also have the problem that they, they, you you have to cut out all of the area when you're actually moving it for five centimeters or something like up and down just for for, for quick repair or asphalt uh, uh, mm -hmm. area you, it's I, be, I believe it's more more uh, it's better to use the one that are the new, with new design that with, with the telescope design instead of the, with this one with the static Daniel, hast du das verstanden? Und wenn das mir übersetzt Ich übersetze mal. Also okay. die Frage ist eigentlich, ich glaube, es ist die Frage so ein bisschen, ja, okay, aber ich, ich versuche es mal zu übersetzen. Also die Frage ist, ob die, ähm, ob nicht die Teleskopierbarkeit äh, wichtig, äh, besser ist für die fürs Maintenance als äh, dieses Design, was du gezeigt hast, ist ja ein bisschen statisch. Ne? Das kann man ja nicht mehr in der Höhe einstellen, oder? Das ist richtig. Aber keine Kommune in Deutschland hat das Geld, alle zehn Jahre die Straße zu erneuern. Also man müsste ja alle zehn Jahre die letzten 14 Meter abfräsen und wieder erneuern. Ja. Und die, die Straße wurde nicht ständig höhenmäßig angepasst. Die letzte Schachtabdeckung, die ich gezeigt habe, die kann man natürlich im Straßenbau perfekt auf Höhe schrauben und dann vergießen. So eine Einwalzbare zum Beispiel hat den Vorteil, die kann zum Beispiel bei Permafrostböden, wo sich die Straße hebt und senkt, immer mitwandern. Das kann diese Schachtabdeckung nicht. Aber trotzdem hält es viel, viel, viel länger. Weil es einfach auch, das hat sich seit 120 Jahren bewährt. Okay, mm. Vladimir, translation is uh, first the the the, um, the height will be adjusted by screws. You have screws, and and before you uh, fill in the mer the the uh, concrete, the flowing concrete, you would take screws and then you put the height, so you have the perfect height. And uh, Daniel says the um, adjustment of the road uh, is not necessary for these uh, for these manhole covers, since uh, it will not sink and rise with yeah. the street and uh, the only area where he says there's that's necessary would be um, areas where the street is always constantly um, going up and down mm. but no no municipality has the money to always change they the height of the road right? yeah. yeah i believe he said like 10 years yeah 10 years uh, okay. like every 10 years they, uh, they can't change it or it's mm. like uh, too much cost for any municipality to change the Mm -hmm. Height of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit rusty in my German. Sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, did, no I, did, I did get some something. What he says. Ah, okay. yeah, international so, round here. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know that some speaker, some some audience are uh, having a German knowledge in this. No, he said the <laughs> ten years. He said he said 
no no city has the money to do it every 10 years, yeah, 10 years yeah, yeah. that's okay, what he that. said mm -hmm. so it's not possible to do it every 10 years mm. right because that's it, what yeah. he said so that's basically yeah when you have when you have a road that is constantly going up and down then your, your technology might also be the better solution maybe but that's actually the reason why they do this manhole cover so it cannot happen that the a road around the manhole is constantly going up and or down you know yeah. that's why they use this manhole cover in the first place and it has it 120 years of history like it uh, withstands so many years so it, uh, it it has an example so. yeah. well, how how big factor is this uh, geological surrounding around b b below the road is a factor i mean it, it's actually probably much better if you have like uh, some uh, solid ground Instead mm -hmm. of Lera, uh, it's clay. Yeah. Daniel, wie wichtig ist die geo geologische äh, Beschaffenheit Geogrund, des Untergrundes ja. der Straße? Wenn du jetzt, also wahrscheinlich ist es besser, wenn du äh, solid, also festen Boden hast, anstatt äh, zum Beispiel Clay. Was ist Clay? Ist, ähm, clay ist äh, also. Lehm, ne? Ja, Lehm. Genau. Lehm, Lehm ist, ja. ist die absolute Vollkatastrophe im Straßenbau. Ähm, da gibt es auch immer dann Probleme mit den Schwingungen bis in die Gebäude rein. Das muss dann rausgeholt werden und entsprechend mit, mit mineralischen äh, Zusätzen verdichtet werden. Also ohne eine perfekte Verdichtung der Straße funktioniert sowieso keine, kein Einbau einer Schachtabdeckung, weil sonst würde sich jedes Mal die Straße absenken und die Schachtabdeckung würde ein paar Zentimeter aus der Straße rausstehen. Aber Leben ist eine Katastrophe. Ja. So, Vladimir, the, the question is, if you have clay, then you have to Uh, if you take a take a yeah. crane or a, a, what is it called a caterpillar and yeah. to uh, do a, like 12 square kilometers of of digging mm -hmm. uh, so you get the perfect road no basically daniel said if you have clay you are screwed <laughs> yeah in short words yeah yeah okay <laughs> i'm sorry and he said uh, without a uh, um, uh, very good um, compression of the of the um, of the ground with uh, mineralic um, additional uh, stuff, uh, you will never have a good road where no manhole cover in the world will and a, have and a good. Thing, yeah, yeah, a good, yeah. Good, good thing that I actually work now in Stockholm and we usually we are surrounded by uh, gra granite. That's very uh -huh, good. Granite. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Granite but, is good, yeah. But Perfect. I actually worked before in, in other other market in other uh, countries. In my okay. my home country in in Belgrade, we actually uh -huh. are very I say, have have a big problem with Lera. Uh, uh, like a couple of years after the the perfect job is done, the the I say the, the manhole actually just floats up. Yeah. The, the the road sinks and the manhole uh, just stays a little bit up. So it's something like five centimeters uh, above. Uh, That's exactly what what Daniel said. Daniel said yeah. uh, exactly that. When the road is uh, has a um, weak ground, then the road will go down. Mm -hmm. And also, it, he it said that you will have um, uh, swingings or, or like like um, s s s the 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 movement of the road will also impact the buildings around it. Right? Mm -hmm. will, yeah. That and then the vinyl cover will come up. I remember actually fixing one road, something like really close to my house, something like six times. And then at the end, they just give up and uh, make uh, all, all the uh, beton, uh, say, concrete uh, uh, construction for whole road. Yeah. And this okay. is actually at the end where, what solved the, the problem. Yeah. So the, the, yeah, the material is all the thing. <laughs> <coughs> so uh, I think we have Thanks. one last question. I just have a quick comment. I like yeah. this manual cover. If you think that it's not only okay. road issue, it's Rosanirum. When you need to put a, a liner, right? Mm -hmm. When you've got a small liner, it's small dimension. But when you've got a bigger liner, you need a strong manual. And, mm -hmm. and you know, this is a real headache sometimes for us relining pipes. Another mm -hmm. quick comment. In Dresden, you probably did not have the problem, but I had the problem in Bucharest, in uh, Trinidad, in Paris. Whenever there is a president of the United States or somebody similar, you need to weld the manual cover so nobody can take it away. 
Uh, so you weld it, then when they are gone, you need to cut the weld. And I'm thinking somebody could come up with something in those cities that we could have something easy because when there is also a problem with terrorism, we've okay. had to we have had to weld the manual covers. And this is a headache because you weld quickly. They tell you to weld right away, but then you've got a nightmare on doing it. OK, so it's little thing with manual covers. I've got all kind of problem in my life with those things. Wow. Thank you. I, and there is last <laughs> but not least. OK. When I worked in Trinidad, people would steal the manual cover to recover yes, the, yes. For the metal. So yes, in, actually, some, yeah. in some countries, this is another problem. So we were trying to have a locking system. Well, <laughs> also, Daniel, what I meant is, also in, in Dresden has to kind of problem, but in other Länder, when for uh, example, a big uh, politician or someone comes. Du musst die äh, Schachtdeckel, also die sanieren. An, bis dann macht er keine Sanierung, weil da, da gibt es keine <lacht> große, äh, wie gesagt, wollte keine Geld spenden. <lacht> Und danach, wenn er weg ist, dann geht er wieder äh, wie gleich. Und noch keine Kommentar war, also die gibt ein großes Problem mit äh, Terrorismus äh, und zu tun, also mit den Schachtdeckel. Und manche Orten, wer hat äh, arbeitet hat, die muss ja die Schachtdeckel sind geklaut. Weil die sind aus Metall, also die kann ja du äh, verkaufen irgendwo und dann kannst du Geld kriegen. So deswegen musst du ein Loch machen, <lacht> ein Schloch machen und dann müssen wir äh, äh, absichern die Schacht. Also, also also man kann generell jede Schachtabdeckung auch mit einem Verschlusssystem ausstatten. Mhm. Und in Dresden war ja auch schon Barack Obama oder Vladimir Putin zu okay. Gast. Aha. Und da wurde natürlich von den ganzen Sicherheitsbehörden wurden alle Schächte in Dresden verblombt. Wow. Dort, wo die sich bewegen, wurden, vorher, wurden vorher inspiziert. Auch in Aha. den mit großen begehbaren Kanälen standen Wach, Wachpersonal. Mhm. Und erst als die Leute, also als Barack Obama oder Putin wieder heimgeflogen sind, wurden alle Schächte wieder zugänglich gemacht. Mhm. Okay, so actually the Daniel is saying, even in Dresden there is something like this. Like uh, when there is a Barack Obama or when uh, Vladimir Putin is coming, they lock every manhole cover and there will be a huge inspection for every manhole cover to see if there is any terrorist threat or some kind of bombs and there will be a controlling. And uh, it's like the same e uh, even in uh, Dresden. They, they, uh, theoretically, every manhole cover can be locked. So it's uh, it's what he's saying. So, uh, so uh, you have one question. Uh, info at Smartex, uh, from Avatka. <laughs> Sorry. I have, a, I have a question. Dragon. Yeah, Dragon, yes. Yeah. I have one question is uh, how do uh, the Daniel or his staff uh, get the information about the failures? Is it uh, ah, okay. from uh, field operators or from the citizens or from the, some other service uh, publics, uh, public uh, services? And the second uh, question is how is uh, how do they make the supervision of quality of uh, works and maintenance? As I saw, it could be 10 to 15 uh, works per day. Uh -huh. It could be in a very different uh, uh, locations in a city. And they, are they doing some uh, written report or do they have some uh, digital tools to control and to follow up the works on the field. Okay, Daniel, uh, there are two, uh, two Fragen. Eins ist, wie kennst du die, die Schacht, uh, Schäden? Also, die kommt, uh, hast du eine Sicherheitskontrolle oder kommt die Beschwerden von die, von die Bürger oder wie kennt das man uh, überhaupt? Und die zweite Frage war, wie erkennst du diese Qualität? Also, die, also die 15, 20 Jahre, was du gesagt hast, also diese Lebensjahr. Wie Würdest, okay. äh, in welche Faktoren du nimmst diese äh, Qualität tun? Also, okay. Äh, das, ja. okay, also so. die Frage 1 kann ich beantworten. Mhm. Ähm, wir haben ungefähr knapp 100 Kanalarbeiter, die Aha, unter anderem okay. auch äh, in vorgeschriebenen Abständen die Schächte inspizieren müssen. Mhm. Da kriege ich schon mal ganz viel Feedback. Dann schaue ich mir vor jedem Straßenbau selber alle Schächte an, damit ich weiß, mhm. was zu reparieren ist. Und dann mhm. gibt es natürlich auch über unseren Dispatcher Bürger Beschwerden die ah, okay. bei uns einkommen, wenn der mhm. zu tief ist, dass die nachts nicht mal schlafen können, dann tun wir das auch reparieren. Ja, Zweite okay. Frage beantworte ich gleich. 
Okay. Uh, so the first uh, first answer is uh, they have uh, about a hundred uh, the sewage workers. Uh, they they are only uh, one of the task is to do this controlling, like to see inspection, like how it's going on, what's the uh, what's the health of the manhole cover, manhole. What is there anything? Everything all right? And uh, also there are sometimes they also have this small form where you uh, the the citizens of Petrasen they can uh, directly complain to this uh, wastewater treatment plant or this uh, canal uh, inspector so that they take it into account and they uh, try to fix it as soon as possible. Eine zweite Frage, Daniel? Zweite Antwort? Wie war die zweite Frage nochmal? Entschuldigung. Zweite Frage war die, die, diese Qualität. So. Also ja, was, okay. Yeah. Hm. Wir, wir verbauen diese Schachtabdeckung seit 2010, 2011 mhm. und haben jetzt ungefähr schon zwölf Jahre Erfahrung damit gesammelt. Und keine einzige Schachtabdeckung ist bis jetzt schadhaft von den 2000 Stück, die wir eingebaut haben. Also sonst mhm. musste man einmal alle sechs oder acht Jahre jeden Schachtdeckel sanieren. Mhm. Und, und wir tun die relativ streng kontrollieren und mhm. man kann das jetzt langsam schon hochrechnen, weil man einfach merken, da passiert nichts. Also die halten auf alle Fälle bis zum nächsten Straßenbau durch oder länger. Es ist sogar teilweise so, dass das jetzt in Dresden Straßenbau war, wo wir die Schachtabdeckung drinnen lassen konnten, haben wir ganz viel Geld mhm. gespart und die haben nur einen Asphalt neu gemacht. Und welche Faktoren sind da drin, also die, so die äh, bessere Qualität zu sehen? Das ist die Form, die Form und der qualitativ okay. hochwertige Einbau. Okay. So uh, Daniel says that uh, they are starting to they, they started this uh, from uh, four years ago this uh, this two, from 2010 they started to build this new new manhole design basically after every five to six years uh, the manhole cover should be like uh, changed or some kind of uh, reevaluated and see like uh, it's, it's good at controlling and everything but for 12 years they don't have any problems still now so they are getting some experience on this uh, manhole design and covers. So that's why he is very confident that uh, this is like the best design and it has high durability and uh, it can withstand high stress because of the old experience, like the 120 years of experience of the making. So they took the durability and the, 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 the pressure it can take and as uh, and the material as well. As the okay, but the uh, records, are they uh, working uh, with the records on the written mode or they are working with the records in the digital mode? What do you mean by records like plans or uh, about the evidence of uh, works? What are be done? What are done on a proper location? Okay, also we uh, we have like photos, photos about uh -huh. the works. Are they doing uh, during the inspection and the supervision of the works? And is mm -hmm. it made in some analog way? Let's say it, or are, is it made in a digital way? Okay, also uh, Daniel, we we control it man the the quality also we have in a digital way or that they get these uh, also manlicious also we they gain that like inspection and then that the uh, photography and the art and then done with this controlled or uh, have they or buy this or the digital is fact also Okay, also Weil früher wurden, wurden, wurden Schachtprotokolle ausgefüllt, das waren zwei mhm. A4-Seiten, wo alle Bauteile mhm. des Schachtes beschrieben waren und die konnten dann dazu ihre Schäden eintragen. Mittlerweile haben aber unsere ganzen Kanalarbeiter Laptops und können das mhm. über das System eingeben und das landet dann bei uns hier im Büro. Ah, okay. Und so beides. Uh, so it's like a mixture of both. Uh, so uh, it's like they go to the place and then they do it analogically and then they have a laptop which is connected to the server and whatever they do, they have a protocol which to fill up about every manhole cover and then they do the inspection and then they send this uh, uh, result uh, digitally and then it's all uh, come to the server and the, the canal inspector or the canal engineer uh, has to take care of it. Und mittlerweile gibt es auch, auch uh, die digitale uh, Schachkamera, die tut den uh -huh. ganzen Schacht scannen. Dann braucht dieser vor Ort tätige Mann überhaupt nichts auswerten, sondern dann kann ich mit dem Schacht dreidimensional aufklappen und kann mir jeden Schaden hm. ansehen. Ah, okay. There's, nowadays there's also a camera, a manhole, and to, to see all of it, they, it's installed inside the manhole cover and then they see, they scan the whole region into 3D covers and they see the whole pictures and everything in the system, in the server. And they can, they can analyze uh, from their office itself, like how it's uh, going to... Uh, like some simulations, like how long it's going to stay and what are the problems it's going to have. Something like that. Thank you very it's, much. It's, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think we are done with the time, unfortunately. But I, I have one last question for everyone. 
So uh, you see some uh, manhole covers. They are like some some are steel and some are concrete. But some are in the in in the combination of concrete and uh, steel. Why? <laughs> Does anybody knows why it has a? In Germany, mostly we have the uh, manhole covers with uh, in the center it's like concrete, and in the outer ring it's like steel. Does anybody know why? I think it's cheaper. Uh, no. Yeah, it's cheaper. Last, Concrete is no. uh, much cheaper, or asphalt is much cheaper than... than yeah, the but that's not the main uh, reason. <laughs> Anybody has any more? Patrice? There was no uh, steel in the Second World War anymore in Germany, so we needed to, do, to use concrete. I don't know. Well, it's just a... The, actually, suggestion. I... I, I I did so much research about it <laughs> yesterday. Uh, the thing is, mostly in Germany they use that uh, for because if it's a steel one, so uh, just a steel one. So if you have a steel one and uh, you are going on the cars or you have a uh, some traffic on it, so it 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 cannot withstand high high trucks like which is very high trucks like if it's going with a high load. If it's going on the manhole, it may get crushed or some kind of get uh, deformed or something. So, <laughs> in order to have a high strength, and it's also cheap. That's that's also one point. And the second point is it uh, it stays in the way so that uh, the concrete doesn't com compress so hard, so it withstands some pressure. That's the <laughs> answer I found in the internet. I mean, <laughs> it also makes sense because if you just put a metal one uh, in the places like uh, uh, like where the high trucks are some kind in the industrial region where you uh, the trucks and the high lorries goes up and down and they have so much uh, stress uh, on the <laughs> manhole covers so in order to have more safety so they use that i actually in actually I saw designs with the rib constructions so this mm -hmm. is metal on top metal on bottom there's a ribs in in between mm -hmm. So it's same thing more or less, but uh, it's yes. without concrete. Yeah, but the concrete just adds weight so that it becomes uh, something around 120 kilo, uh, kilograms, and so that it becomes a bit heavy. So it stays in the manhole, and it doesn't uh, like I said, uh, like I showed in the first uh, presentation. There are some places where the manhole cover jumps, like uh, like dances. <laughs> uh, but they usually see, they use the dichtung, like from with the yeah. rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they close it with highly with the rubber at the, at the edges, and then they use the concrete so that it stays like that. Oh, well. <laughs> so, but they use the, uh, on the edges, they use this uh, uh, steel so that they can uh, easy to uh, place the frames and easy to connect to the ring, and then you can lift it out and up. So that's a <laughs> uh, funny reason as well. So <laughs> that's why they use in Germany the, this kind of thing. Okay, anyway, so mm -hmm. actually there's like so many things I want to say about manhole covers because like they are, it's it's uh, it's a huge topic, but it seems like small, but it's like huge topic. But unfortunately, we ran out of time, and we are actually 15 minutes more than that. Sorry, Daniel, for waiting you. Thank uh, you, Daniel, for for the uh, for the photo and for the insight, uh, and thanks for coming here and then giving us all the info no beautiful information. Have a nice so, day. Have a nice evening. So, uh, guys, uh, if you want this uh, this presentation from Daniel and me. Please send your email address in the chat box now, and I will send uh, I will send you the uh, presentation from me and from uh, Daniel, and uh, we will send you by email. And please uh, do try to uh, participate next time if you have time. And thank you very much for everyone who is coming here, who is here and who is with us, and who had. Uh, I hope everyone uh, enjoyed the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Feel the <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. See you next oh. time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Daniel, we're speaking. Thank you, dear. Ciao. Ciao.